Hey guys, it's Ernest from What to Play, and I'm here to tell you that 32 games have been released this May 2018, and they just received their play scores. Let's check them out right now. The play score is a standard rating that averages gamer and critic reviews. When a game only reaches the minimum requirement of critic or gamer reviews, it receives a provisional play score. Raging Justice It's Streets of Rage Reloaded in this new age beat em up game from Macon Games. It's a nostalgia field jaunt through city streets with all the classic beat em up tropes set in more modern environments. It has a provisional play score of 6.67 on the Switch. Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers Rock monsters have invaded the post apocalyptic Wild West. Take on your me character on a wild adventure with Dylan the Armadillo and Russ the Squirrel Engineer on this game that has a provisional play score of 6.86 on the 3DS. Garage From 2D side-scrolling beat-em-ups, we go to this top-down shooter that pays homage to the B-movies of the 80s. Facing against a rabbit horde of zombies, Butch has got more than drug-dealing problems to worry about. Run towards healthy escape around their underground parking lot and set the living dead ablaze with your arsenal of badass weapons. It's on the Switch and it receives a provisional play score of 6.9. Nihilumbra Join Born in his odyssey from the nothingness that is his birthplace, to him learning how to use the colors around him to gain powers and transform the world. The game was released in 2015 on the Vita and Wii U, but now it's available on the Switch with a provisional play score of 6.9. Suicide Guy Despite the depressing title, Cubby Pixel's puzzle adventure game is a lot of fun. It's not really about mental health, it's a zany slapstick first-person puzzle game that's unfortunately spoiled by its bugginess. On the Switch, it has a provisional play score of 6.98. Punch Club Climb your way up the Punch Club rank, discover who killed your father, and avenge his death. Train hard, hone your fighting skills, and carve your own path. This fighting sim tycoon game was first released in 2016 on the PC and the mobile. The Switch version didn't really introduce a lot of changes on the core mechanics. Still. This version has a provisional play score of 7.03. Baobab's Mausoleum, Episode 1 Oven Fagos Don't Eat Flamingos Once every 25 years, the Flamingo Creek appears in Albatross Road. Help FBI agent Watrasio Walpurgis, a vampire eggplant, as he explores this uncanny and sticky, beautifully pixelated village. The Switch release of this strange game has a provisional play score of 7.14. Fox in Forest this 2D indie platformer will let you see through the eyes of a wily fox. Venture through the changing temperate environments with this trusty crossbow. Slip, slide, and slash through monsters and enemies as you enjoy the old-school atmosphere of this 16-bit land. This Switch release has a provisional play score of 7.17. Hyper Sentinel Inspired by the simplicity of the retro arcade era, Hyper Sentinel brings back the glory of the old days with a dash of modern-day chaos. Dive into the pixel-perfect stages and get a taste of the classic arcade aesthetics with their Spectrum, C64, and CRT filters. On the Switch, it has a provisional play score of 7.31. Mega Man Legacy Collection 2 This Switch release comes with the faithful reproductions of Mega Man 7, 8, 9, and 10, along with additional modes released as DLC for Mega Man 9 and 10, and some more features like online leaderboards and a gallery of illustrations. It has a provisional play score of 7.53 on the Switch. Wizard of Legend In Contingent 99's roguelite action adventure, you fulfill the legends of old as you take on the role of a powerful wizard. Collect spells to arm you against your conjured enemies and hit them with your most devastating combos. On the Switch, it has a provisional play score of 7.58. Pokemon Quest Your favorite Kanto region Pokemons have a brand new cube-like look. Explore the Tumble Cube Island, find loot, and befriend as many Pokemons as you can. This is an idle RPG that's surprisingly difficult to put down. While it might not be the Pokemon game fans want, it's definitely an enjoyable little title to play while waiting for the bigger releases. On the Switch, it has a play score of 7.55. Death Road to Canada We all got an image of Canada in our heads. Quiet, happy, and teeming with endlessly polite citizens. Well. Rocket Cat Games turns that all around as we take a tour around their Canadian post-apocalypse. It's a randomly generated road trip, jam-packed with cities to explore and zombies to extinguish. It has a provisional play score of 7.6 on the Switch. Framed Collection This is a compilation of the critically acclaimed noir puzzle games from Framed and Framed 2. In it, you'll have to rearrange comic book panels to craft a cohesive noir-styled spy story. 
This Switch game has a provisional play score of 7.61. Super Chariot. A remnant of the good old Wii U days returns with a bang on Nintendo's swinging new platform. Freema Studios pulls out all the stops for their bizarre platformer, reintroducing it to the world in Super Size 4. Play as the princess or her fiancé and take daddy's coffin round for a spin around the game's treacherous caverns. On the Switch, it has a provisional play score 7.68. The Fall Take on the role of Arid, an artificial intelligence inside a high-tech combat suit as you activate after crashing on an unknown planet. Your human pilot is still knocked out, so it's up to you to keep him safe against the hostile environment and somehow find medical aid before it's too late. It has a provisional play score of 7.69 on the Switch. Immortal Redneck This frantic roguelike shooter puts you in the probably confused shoes of a redneck tourist as he finds himself in the depths of the Egyptian labyrinths. Mixing neo-Egyptian aesthetics, roguelite elements, and arcade-style shooting, Immortal Redneck just might be the fast and frenzied FPS you need on the Switch. It has a provisional play score of 7.73. Faerun Collection This retro-style adventure RPG from Skipmore contains all four Faerun games in one package. This includes the original Faerun, Faerun 2, Origin, and Faerun Blast. Lead your heroine on a quest to save the world. It has a provisional play score of 7.78. Don't Die Mr. Robot Cheeky might be the perfect word for this arcade-style video game from the British Infinite State Games. Originally released last 2014, Mr. Robot's survival remains essential with her jump to the Switch. It packs all the tropes of the classic arcade game as you dive deep into their electronic abyss to eat a bunch of healthy fruits. The goal is simple, get some fruit and try not to die. It has a provisional play score of 7.86 on the Switch. Little Nightmares Complete Edition Celebrating their grand welcome of horror titles, the Switch introduces Tarshir Studios' whimsical side-scrolling puzzler to their list. In this complete edition, you'll be served with two haunting tales of Six and the Runway Kid in one ultimate package. Used together with Pac-Man Amiibo, you'll be able to go around your chilling journey with a Paku mask. A sensory treat for young and old, it has a provisional play score of 7.9. Yonder, The Cloudcatcher Chronicles Mixing cartoon art styles with magical realism, Prideful Sloth's latest adventure captures a childish sense of wonder that'll push you to explore each and every corner. Play as a stranded and shipwrecked adventurer who finds himself in the breathtaking landscapes of Jamea. Haunted by a mysterious murk, you set forth to vanquish the malevolent purple haze and restore the land to its former glory. It has a provisional play score 7.91. Battle Chasers Night War Choose up to three heroes and begin your journey in the town of Harm's Way in this modern turn-based RPG game that borrows elements from popular JRPGs of old. Venture into the randomly generated dungeons, uncover secrets, collect loot, and upgrade your skills with every level. It has a provisional play score of 7.91. The Banner Saga 1 An indie gem on its own right, the Banner Saga series has won hearts not only through its exceptional turn-based mechanics, but also through its realistic and melancholic portrayal of battle. Within its captivating story of survival, you take the place of the brooding leader tasked to decide the fate of his own people. It has a provisional play score of 7.93. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition An all-star cast of your favorite Legend of Zelda characters awaits you in this exhilarating hack and slash game. Created by the team behind the popular Dynasty Warriors franchise, it has all their signature Moso goodness paired with the magnetism of the Legend of Zelda series. This definitive edition has up to 29 characters from the Wii U and 3DS titles, as well as a host of new maps and missions. It has a play score of 8.09 on the Switch. N++ Build up your momentum in this fast-paced minimalist platformer. In this sci-fi world, homicidal robots will do all they can to stop you from completing your goals. The 4,340 handmade levels are super intense, so you better prepare yourself. This game has a provisional play score of 8.11 on the Switch. Mega Man Legacy Collection it's time to relive your mega-awesome childhood with the Mega Man Classics. This collection was compiled in celebration of this iconic Capcom Blue Robot. The original six Mega Man games have been faithfully reproduced for the Switch release. It has a provisional play score of 8.11. Yuko's Island Express Pinball games are really on a different level from what they were years ago. This game is a testament to that. 
In it, you play as Yoku, a pint-sized postman who delivers parcels in this ancient island. It has a provisional play score of 8.14 on the Switch. Bloodstain, Curse of the Moon. Take on the shoes of a demon slayer named Zangetsu, who's bearing a deep grudge in his blackened heart. As you travel through the dangerous lands defeating demons, you'll meet other playable characters who'll help you in your journey. Just remember, your choices will affect the ending of this game. It has a play score of 8.15 on the Switch. Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey Redux Play as a formidable UN soldier investigating the spatial anomaly called the Schwarzwald, a dark energy dome that's threatening to consume the world. Inside the hellish dome is a nightmare mirror of Earth filled with demons just dying to meet you. It has a play score of 8.29 on the 3DS. Shantae, Half Genie Hero, Ultimate Edition. The purple haired belly dancing genie is back to her old antics, and you'll get to experience it all in high definition. Returning not just with a brand new facelift, this Switch Ultimate Edition contains all previously released DLCs and modes in one neatly wrapped package. It has a provisional play score of 8.35. Ikaruga. You are Sinra, a rebel pilot tasked to battle the enemy nation using your specially designed fighter, the Ikaruga. What makes it so special is that it can switch between two energy polarities, absorb or repel bullets with your energy manipulation abilities. This switch release has a provisional play score of 8.55. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze Another stellar comeback from Nintendo's Wii U days. Our favorite primates are running the stage once more as they bring back the heat to their little tropical paradise. Known for its slightly punishing pixel-perfect platformer, Tropical Freeze's entrance to the Switch is marked with a few new features to ease their banana hunting hijinks. It's the first Donkey Kong game on the Switch, and the series is definitely off to a great start. It has a play score of 8.67. Hi again! You can get all these new Nintendo games through the links in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to leave a like. See you soon!